Hi guys, Dr. Berg here. Listen, I wanted to do a video on high pulse rate because uh, I talked to this one lady on the phone and she went to the doctor and they said uh, they ruled out heart problems from her symptom of high pulse rate. She has no heart problems and they don't know what's going on. So I wanted to, I told her I'd create a video to show her all the possible causes. Okay, so a lot of times if you're stuck with one thing, we need to kind of know all the potential things that it could be. Number one, you have to realize that an average, a normal pulse rate is 72, but it could range between 60 and 80 or higher or a lot lower. If you are a really professional top athlete, it can, the pulse rate can go down to 35, sometimes even lower. That's incredible. Um, but I've, I've seen people have a resting pulse rate of 110, just like when they're resting, it's just boom, boom, boom. Now in a little infant, normal is 120, uh, but as you get older, it should come down. And what creates the pulse rate is part of the nervous system. It's called the parasympathetic nervous system that's in the background that's literally developing and pushing your pulse rate down. In an infant, they haven't developed that system strong enough to keep the pulse rate in check. So everything is a little bit higher. I know my dog Charlie has a pulse rate of probably like 200 when he's at rest. I don't know. Guys, that little guy is hyper, but here's some here's some uh, causes. Hyperthyroidism. Okay, so the thyroid is in hyper mode; it's working too much. That can call, uh, be a potential cause of high pulse rate. Okay, low potassium, very very common. But potassium is a it supports the parasympathetic nervous system, so it pushes the pulse rate down. Many people that have high pulse rate have really just low potassium, and that would be a simple solution to fix that. Medication. So let's say your pulse rate is high right after you got on a certain medication. That could be causing it. Uh, or it could be a food allergy, something you're allergic to. Uh, epinephrine, let's say you're on an EpiPen because you have allergies. Boom, that could be one of the causes. Or caffeine, you drink five pots of coffee a day. You know, that's the obvious one. Or your nicotine, you're a chain smoker. Well, that can increase the pulse rate. And then the heart problems, it could be some dysfunction in the heart itself or adrenal issues. The adrenal controls a lot of hormones related to the flight or fight mechanism. It can either increase adrenaline, it could uh, increase cortisol, it can deplete potassium, a lot of things. These are just things to look at if you're trying to get your pulse down. Thanks for watching. Press the, okay, geez, let me do that over again. Press the subscribe button. Press, just press this button right here, subscribe. Okay, that one right there. Just do it right now.